say that again. Four ounces for one gallon of water. Smell that you're rotten eggs. Same Samantha. How important is it that you mix it correctly? Really important. And why aren't you just doing it in the sink? So we can reuse it and don't lose it down the drain. And the bucket's much smaller in circumference, so a gallon will go a lot taller, and you can actually get the city a little bit further in. Gluten-free, so I'll bring it to you. Sure. Animal care, the black and white kitten with the blue so collar from Ava 27 needs a rabies vaccination. Make sure the we use lots of good eye lube. The blue collar from Ava 27 needs a vaccination only. It irritates the eyes without actually letting the tip of the applicator get in the eye, so you can reuse it. Oh, look, he's going to hop in all on his own. He smells it. He knows. He knows. I know what that it's dipping time. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And then you can use a sponge or a cloth. You want to make sure that you're, you don't pre-soak it, you don't do a bath beforehand. And then you do this as long as you possibly can. <laughs> and they will tolerate it and get all of the areas as wet as you can. Most of his affected areas are around his ears, below his forehead. He's really good about dipping. And make sure that you take off all of your jewelry. Jewelry can be permanently stained, as I'm aware of. As and well as sinks one. and countertops and bathtubs. Well, actually, that stuff can be cleaned out. It's not necessarily like a permanent stain, whereas your jewelry will never recover. Even if it's good jewelry, silver <laughs> gets tarnished for life, and it's not like a good polishing. Also, make sure that, because if they get any near their mouth, um, they start licking, and they try and get it off them by licking their fur, which gets more on them, and you don't want that to happen. That's why we'll end up using Elizabethan collar to uh, put on to make them not lick it, the fur, and all the sulfur and everything. All right. Definitely avoid, avoid the eyes, but you're going to have to get in there and get close. He's got some nice chins. I know. Dispatch call 6016. Dispatch call 6016. He's doing really good. I just let him hang on to the side. It makes him feel a little bit better. I want to try and do the chin last because that's so close to the mouth. Once they get it in their mouth, they're really losing some serious tolerance. Uh, no. Put the sponge aside for a second and just wash some up around all over. Why does the sponge work better than like just a cup? 
to pour it on. Because you can direct a sponge. Kind of scrub it in a little better? No, you can just, just direct it. So you don't have control over a pour. You know what I mean? If you try, well, sticking it, sticking it something in there that's going to actually be able to, like a cup, there's not mm -hmm. a lot of room in between you and it. And then when you try and pour it over the kitty, you'd be getting it all over the place. Right. Which may not be the best thing and that sponge you can kind of like even hold it on in that area right because you'll notice that even with good thorough dipping there's areas that don't mm -hmm. look like they're actually affected but right. you know you just got to keep doing as much as you can because everybody wants this to go away as quick as possible including the kitty have we named this kitty yet? No. Once he's named, he's mine, so that's not... We're, we're avoiding that. As long as we can. I haven't thought about it much. Alright, now I'm going to go for... Because we're losing patience here. Yes. So, I'm going to go a little bit more here. And then we're going to start going. See, he's got some in his mouth, and that's why he's doing that. Yeah. And I don't know how it got there, because I've been avoiding that. But I know it's just nastiness. And you got to watch it, because they'll start getting anything they can to get out yeah. away from it. Some uh, industrial rubber gloves would probably be handy at this point, yes? Um, they allow for less movement, so... As much as I can get on the collar, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Because it does smell lovely. And I'm sure it tastes even worse. Even better. Alright. Now, we don't towel off. We're going to drip dry. So, we can just go ahead and squeeze a little excess. Watch the misery and let them fully dry. 